Cesar Torres is a novelist, filmmaker, and fashion designer. In 2014, his novel 13 Secret Cities put him on the map as a genre-defying fantasist. The brand new sequel, Nine Words of Night, was just published last month. Under the, yeah. Under the pen name Pablo Green, he is also the author of the How to Kill a Superhero book series, a saga comprised of four novels that has been embraced by queer and gay men, and which blends together the genres of thriller, horror, erotica, and romance. Yeah, find that. <laughs> Some books are, I'm sure. Where, where is it? Women and Children First, I'm sure, have it. Right? <laughs> They better have it, all right. Uh, in 2016, Cesar launched the apparel line LED Queens, and last year he directed the documentary Beyond Built, which chronicles the history of the world-famous Chicago built bodybuilding gym Quads. Cesar, come on up and tell us, why is it important? look around and feel like the world is a little bit dreamlike, clap if you ever feel that. No, 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 you it. Uh, well, I decided to answer the question through the language of cinema, and the reason is because I think cinema resembles dreaming, and dreaming resembles cinema. So, we're going to play for you the movie. I work as a novelist, and throughout my life, I always thought of myself as someone who operates with words on a page or a screen in a simple combination of black and white. I have been writing down my dreams daily for the past six years. In my novels, human beings often struggle to understand themselves while the gods from Aztec mythology visit our world from another dimension. I am going to share the names of the Aztec god and goddess of death with you. His name is Miklantecutli and hers is Miktekasiwatl. I dreamt about them, and in turn, they dreamt about me. In the early hours of December 20th, 2017, I was hospitalized with multiple blood clots in my left leg and in my lungs that would kill me if left untreated. I prepared to die. Doctor saved my life. After that experience, something unusual started to happen. I began to create new characters and stories using my own sketches as a starting point. Working with other artists, I created new illustrations. I also made new short films and even clothing designs. The colors I used were so bright, they were almost blinding. These visuals were unlike anything I had ever produced before. You see, I think it was my dreams that were telling me to dare to create new images and not just words. Our time on Earth as human beings is very short, and it's important that we don't waste that time. It's important that we should dream in color.